In this video, we're going to take a look at the subdivision surface modifier. Now, this one can be tricky to learn how to use well, but we'll show it to you here and maybe you'll get some good use out of it with your models. Basically, what the idea is, is that it subdivides your mesh into more detail so it rounds out a bit more. And then you can have a little bit of control over how it rounds it out. Here's an example. I have this object here. I like the overall shape, but I don't want it to be so computer graphic blocky. I want it to be smooth. So what I can do is I can select my object, add modifier, subdivision surface. Notice what it's done here. I'll just set the level of it to three and three. But what it's done, if I look at the wireframe, is it's added a lot more detail to the mesh. And at the same time, it's done a little bit of rounding, right? Smoothing out of the surface. Now, not bad. Okay, it can definitely start your blocky object and then smooth it out. I'll do the same thing over here with the cup. Add modifier. Whoops, let's take that one off. Add modifier, subdivision. And you can see it smoothed out the cup. Let's give it another level or two. There you go. Okay, so not too bad. Okay, with very little work. Now you may say to yourself, I don't like the way this is doing it. I didn't want it to round out the nose. Or I didn't want this top edge to be so rounded. I wanted to keep that like a hard line. So what do you do? Is it all or nothing? Well, it's not all or nothing. What you can do to your mesh is in edit mode, you can actually select edges. Like let's say I select that one. Uh, let's go, yeah, I'll just do that one. And that one and that one. And I can say mesh edge crease so you know crease when you fold a piece of paper and it's a sharp sharp fold that's a crease I'm basically saying how sharp should my edges be here and it's going to affect how the subdivision surface modifier is allowed to curve them so as soon as I hit this my mouse movements actually gonna set the level so click and you'll see down here in the corner it has a crease level so by moving the mouse up and down, ignore the dumb dog here. I'll just have to hit escape and redo that one. Mesh, edge, crease. And as I start to move the mouse up or down or left or right, you'll see it starts to add to the crease level. Now, the crease level affects how the edge tries to stick. And it depends which edges you have selected right how much it's going to do this but you'll see there you know it's made the edge now very sharp and I know that gets a bit of a weird looking object there I'll just go to object mode okay but it does give you control now you know how the thing forms another option you have that can work for you is if you don't like let me undo that if you don't like the way that back end is curved Another thing you can do is put more edges or loop edges there. So what I can do is I can go loop, cut, and slide. There's the right direction. Roll the mouse a couple times. Click. Click. And you can see now that it is trying to smooth out the object, but with more edges there that just went straight, you're getting you know, probably what you think is a better object, right? Or a little bit more what you wanted. So those are two little tricks. Here it is with the cup. Let's say I like my cup, but I don't like the rounded part at the very top there. So let's go back in the object mode. I'll select the cup. I've already got the modifier on, right, to sort of a high level. Now I'll take my cup. I'll go into edit mode, and I'm going to do a loop cut here near this top. And let's say I slide it. You can see what's happening as I slide it, how it's lifting up the curve closer to the edge. So these single loop cuts, so there's one there. Let's just put that one there and let's do another loop cut right there and push it down. And you can see how now that sort of isolates this section of the model from the curving by adding just those two extra loop cuts. Now when I go to object mode, you can see it does look different, right? So it's a little bit of a skill and you got to fiddle around, but it's not too bad, right? It's definitely a nice fast way to make your model go from blocky to look in a little better. Okay, thanks for watching. I'm just going to add one little thing here, even though I've already said bye. I'm just going to go back to the cup and do the crease to show you how the crease can really sharpen the edge here. I'll just go to edit mode. 
I'm going to do a little edge loop, alt click. So I got that whole edge. Let's crease this up. Mesh, edges, crease, and let's set the value pretty high. There we go, crease one, done. Now I don't know if you saw the difference there, but the difference is that's a very crisp top edge now, right? Now it's nice and sharp. It's not rounded near as much as it was. If I wanted to do the inner one too, I go to edit mode, take here, alt, right click, got all those edges. Let's go mesh, edge, crease, and let's get the value up. Looks good at one, click, and back to object mode, and see how those edge creases really sharpen off the parts you want sharpened when you use the subsurface, right? So not too hard to use.